morning, Houston, and uh, to the great folks at the Kennedy Space Center who have uh, cared for these vehicles for the last 30 years. A special good morning to you. Atlantis, we're backing you up in APU pre-start, and we are ready for APU start when you get there. Copy, ready for APU start. And the mechanical systems officer reporting that auxiliary power unit number one is up and running in support of this FCS checkout. And you can see the aero surface is now driving. And a good view of the uh, first single pulses of the reaction control system jets. The RCS hot fire test now underway. Atlantis Houston, congratulations on the 180th successful deployment of a payload from the shuttle's payload bay. And with that, uh, the final deployment of a payload in space shuttle program history is complete as the small Pico sat satellite is on its way. Hey, Butch, uh, you and I have, uh, have been through enough uh, FAM deploy sims down the ground along with a number of folks in the control center. We know that they, uh, a deployment form is required. So uh, if you're ready to indulge me, here we go. One more satellite takes its place in the sky, the last of many that the shuttle let fly. Magellan, Galileo, Hubble, and more have sailed beyond her payload bay doors. They filled science books and still more is to come. The shuttle's legacy will live on when her flying is done. We wish PicoSat success in space where it roams. It can stay up here, but we're going home. Yet soon for the last time, we'll gently touch down, then celebrate the shuttle with our friends on the ground. Thanks, Houston. Outstanding, Rex. We applaud you. And Doug Hurley, when we were on the ground in Houston, you talked specifically about how you wanted to pay tribute to all the hundreds of thousands of people who over the last 30 years have contributed to this, to this program uh, and, and given you the ability to be where you are right now. So as you return, as you prepare to return to the Kennedy Space Center, your thoughts on, on all of those people and specifically the people on the ground now who are preparing for your landing and who many of whom may be out of a job within the next few weeks. Yeah, we we really, uh, you know, we really just want to honor them, and, and we've done our best uh, up to this time on the mission to do that. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're very excited about seeing those folks, especially the uh, Kennedy folks, uh, hopefully tomorrow morning. And, uh, you know, just try to share the memories of the mission with them and, uh, and, and once again just convey how proud we are of them and what they've done over this 30-year program. It, it, it's just so inspiring to see the passion that all these folks have for space business and you know they put their careers into this business into the, into this vehicle and uh you know we owe it to them to just honor what they've done and honor their accomplishments and uh you know we were we were just lucky enough to be the ones that got to fly it but uh you know they're the ones that really made it happen I'll tell you what, we'll wrap it up there. It's been an honor to talk to you. We wish you a tremendous success on your return visit. We'll be on the ground waiting for you. Godspeed and safe return. Thank you very much. Thanks, Tom. Atlantis, this is Houston ACR. On behalf of the audio control room, the NASA television production team, and the JSC Public Affairs Office, it's been an honor to serve with you over the years and on this last mission of the Space Shuttle program. Thank you. That concludes the event. Hey, ACR, before you go, I'll tell you what, whenever we hear your voice, we know we're in space and it makes us smile. Thanks so much for, uh, for helping us bring the word to everybody in America about what we're doing up here. And uh, we look forward to hearing your voice aboard the International Space Station. And uh, wherever we go beyond the Space Shuttle, we hope you're there.